Hi everyone, let's see how you can design and sell face masks online. I'm a few weeks or a month late to making this video, but I thought I'd make it anyway. So if you'd like to design and sell face masks, this is an easy way to do it. I'll show you a few print-on-demand sites that sell face masks, so you can design the images or patterns on the masks, upload your images to the site, and they do everything else from fulfilling the order, packaging, shipping, customer service, and even marketing to some degree for you. These are not medical grade masks, but for example, Redbubble does donate one mask per mask sold to a humanitarian organization, and T Public donates a surgical mask to healthcare for each mask sold. Let's look at the POD sites where you can sell face masks at the moment and how to upload your designs and then let's see the differences in the materials of the end product between those sites and how you can and cannot market the face masks or whether you even need to market them yourself. Let's look at the POD sites where you can sell face masks at the moment. I'll start with Tee Public because if you already have a shop there, you really don't have to do anything to the existing designs. I checked my shop at the end of April and it seemed all my designs were automatically available as face masks too. But of course, some of the designs might not be placed or positioned the way you like, so you can go edit those to scale them, change the background color or align them differently. Or you can disable the face mask for a design if you don't want it in your shop. If you're starting a new tea public shop and want to see how to add new designs, I do have a video about uploading to tea public too. Let's move to Redbubble. Unlike tea public, you do have to enable the face masks and new products in general on your existing designs. And I went ahead and also enabled the pins for all my old designs while enabling the face masks. So to enable the masks for a design, go to Manage Portfolio, choose the image, click the settings icon and then edit. I think you can also bulk enable products for a whole page of designs at once by checking the select all box and then choosing the product from the available products on the drop down menu. But when you do it manually for each design, you can also check at the same time that the placement and size and background color of the design works and you can upload a new file if you want to, unlike in TeePublic. I'll show you a few different scenarios, one with a transparent background and one where I upload another file to make a pattern. I have other videos going further into uploading art or making repeat patterns for Redbubble. Redbubble also has a face mask template you can download to make sure the placement and size are fine before you upload your design. I'm opening it in the free image editor GIMP, opening the artwork as a new layer on top of it. And then resizing the artwork to fit the template. and switching the template on top of the art to better control the placement on the face mask. And finally, hide the template layer and export the image as PNG and upload to Redbubble. A couple more POD sites that I know sell face masks. One is Spreadshirt. They don't add the face masks automatically for you. You do need to enable them for your old designs. Edit the design, edit the product selection and choose face masks from the accessories. And flip the switch to turn it on. You can edit the product by changing the size of the design on the mask and aligning it, but it seems you can't do much else. The only color seems to be white. Mm -hmm. 
Sassel also sells face masks and I'll show you how to make them separately. They have a couple of different options, so click on create a product, you'll find face masks under home, sports and games, and you can choose the style and color. They also have some design suggestions below. You can add an image from your gallery or upload it from your device. I'll just click on one from my gallery. For this style, if you fill the area with the image, it cuts off strangely, as you can see in the little preview on the right. Then they have this different style where you can use the fill option so it works better for something like a pattern or a landscape. I'm going to skip the rest of the upload process, but would you like to see a Sassel upload tutorial? I haven't made one of those yet. Then let's move on to the types of face masks these BOD sites sell and to marketing. I've gotten questions about whether you need to promote your art to make sales. It depends on the BOD site and I'm not going to get into it more in this video, but I will say that for the face masks, I haven't done any marketing for them at all, haven't posted them on social media or anything, but I did sell a few kind of quickly on Redbubble and one on Public. So if you have a Redbubble shop already, I absolutely suggest you go and enable masks on all your designs if you haven't done that. On Sassel I didn't even publish the ones I showed you in this video and I don't really use Spreadshirt either, so it's not surprising I didn't sell anything there. The important part with marketing face masks is to read and obey the rules that the POD site sets so since the face masks are not medical grade, you cannot market them as such or claim that they prevent the spread or infection of viruses. Redbubble has gotten some critique for selling polyester masks instead of cotton and Tea Public on the other hand sells masks with a polyester layer and a soft microfiber inner layer and space for the insertion of a filter. In Redbubble, you can download the mock-up images for marketing from Manage Portfolio, clicking the settings icon and selecting Promote Products, and then scroll down for the face masks. For more print-on-demand tips, click on the playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye!